Kraken rules four. Welcome back to the dungeon. And I'm out. So today we're going to have a little look at Welcome Back to the Dungeon, how to play within. It plays from two to four players, and I'm about to show you how to go through all the mechanics of the game. Okay, so the game is going to come with uh, four characters you can play. Uh, this expansion actually comes with a HP tracker as well, which is nice. Um, you've got your monster references, which also show you how many hit points you got left. Success tokens, regular monsters, and then in this one you're going to have a couple of special monsters as well. So when you start the game, the first thing you're going to do is give out the HP and the monster trackers to each individual person. Um, the success marker is going to be put aside for when somebody successfully gets through the dungeon. Put the HP markers aside, choose the monster or the character you're going to be using. Put all of the regular monsters into a pile and you're going to randomly choose two of the special monsters and shuffle them into the deck whilst putting the other six aside. So once everything's in front of you and set everything up guys, every single person uh, for their turn they're going to take a monster from the monster pile. Um, you can look at that monster and you're going to make a decision. You can either put that in the dungeon face down so only you know who, uh, what that monster is in the dungeon or you can put that monster in front of you and take a piece of equipment from the pile and put it in front of you taking that equipment and the monster out of the game. Once that's happened you then pass the pile to the next player. They would do exactly the same thing until somebody passes. Now, let's say uh, through the game uh, that there's some monsters that have been put aside and then let's say three of these monsters that some other people have put down uh, that you might not know uh, what those monsters are, have been in the dungeon, people are going to start passing. Now, once you've passed, you're completely out of that game. So, two things. You're not going into the dungeon, so you can't lose a life point, but you're also not going to get a success token either. The only way to get the success token is to go through the dungeon and not get killed. Now you have two lives in the game, uh, this is basically shown by your monster reference cards. These will basically tell you the value of the monsters and what symbols uh, appear on those monster cards. Uh, these actually match up with some of the stuff that you have in your character's equipment. So for example, you notice the lucky coin here has exactly the same symbol as the level 2 monsters. Now if you were to bring this out and that matches up, you know exactly how that kind of operates. Now if you were to go through the dungeon and not succeed, you flip your cards, they go to red, that means you've lost one of your hit points. If you do go through the dungeon a second time and you die, that goes to the side, you're out of the game. So what actually happens when you go through the dungeon? Now, let's say that the other person you're playing with in the two-player game has passed, and you are forced to go through the dungeon, which means you then pick up the monster cards that are in the dungeon deck. Now, at this point, you're going to figure out exactly how much HP you've got. So at this point, our bard has 3, 5, 10 HP. You would then put the 10 on the monster tracker here, or the HP tracker, and then you can now go through the dungeon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip these cards one at a time. Now in this case, there's a 4 damage monster, but because we have the lucky coin here, this actually matches up with our piece of equipment. So we defeat an even strength monster, if the next monster is even, repeat the process. So in this case, this isn't an issue, we've defeated that monster, keeping in mind that this now takes effect also. Now, in this case, you see a little lightning symbol on the bottom here. This means you can only use that piece of equipment once. Um, so generally, you kind of put that with that, make the effect work, and then you carry on with the game. So in this case, I've put this out. This is not an even strength monster, so it doesn't help. This is a straight up five. There's nothing going to help me here because there's no symbol. I'm going to bring my HP down to five. So if I go for the next one, I've then got a two. The lucky coin's actually gone now, so that hits me for two. One, two. I've managed to survive the dungeon, I get a success token. So once someone's gone through the dungeon, whether they were successful or not, doesn't matter, you're going to repopulate your character with all of its equipment, the monsters get shuffled up, and you create a new monster draw pile to start the round again. First player to two success wins, or be the last person surviving in the board. Winner. <laughs> <laughs>